Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve a problem related to the fact that uh, the um, auto ionization of water is temperature dependent. So when we talk about the auto ionization of water, what we mean is that water, yep, that one's dead. What we mean is that uh, water, even pure water, all by itself, in a beaker is going to uh, dissociate just a little bit into H plus and OH minus. And uh, we give a special name to this equilibrium. It is called KW. And so the KW is going to be equal to the concentration of the H plus ions times the concentration of the hydroxide ions. Now, normally that would be products over reactants. You'd have over the water, but the water concentration, because it's a liquid, we're going to uh, treat it as though um, it has a concentration of one because its concentration doesn't change over the course of the equilibrium because it's just due to the density. What that means is that um, this would be over one. We're not going to write the over one. Uh, and so this is just going to be our KW expression. All right. Now in this question, we're told that um, we're at 75 degrees Celsius. And so normally what we'd have to do is go look up and see what the value of KW is at that temperature. But um, we've been uh, politely uh, given that value here in the problem. So what we're going to do is the same thing that we always do. We're going to set up a rice table. So we know the reaction equation is going to be this. We know that the liquid doesn't change concentration, so we're just going to ignore that and remind ourselves that by putting a little squiggle. There's no H plus or OH minus dissociated initially, uh, but to reach equilibrium, there will be. So that's our rice table. Now we're gonna plug our equilibrium row into our equilibrium expression. So now we're gonna get that KW is equal to X times X, and that's equal to, at this temperature, 2.0 times 10 to the minus 13. So simplifying, that's x squared equals 2.0 times 10 to the minus 13. And now we're going to take the square root of both sides, pull out our calculator, and do square root 2.0e minus 13. And that's going to give us a value for x of 4.5 times 10 to the minus 7. All right, but what we were actually asked for back in the original question is what is the pH? So the x value is equal to both our H plus and our OH minus concentration. So remember that the pH equation is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, which is just this number right here. So we're going to take the negative log of that value that we got as our answer negative log answer and that gives us a value of 6.3 so the pH at this temperature of pure water is 6.3 notice that that does not mean that the water is more acidic at this temperature because the pOH because the OH minus is the same as the hydrogen concentration if we were to solve pOH it would also be 6.3 so you have to wrap your, your brain around the fact that it does not mean that this solution is more acidic or more basic than it would be at 25 degrees Celsius. It simply means that the value of the pH and the pOH of neutral water are different as the temperature changes.